I'm going to try and get in here and have a better look. Go for it. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today um, I found this on our journey here on the side of the road and as far as I know it's called St. Finian's Church and you can see it from the road but it's locked up so I'm going to go inside and explore the area and see why it's locked up maybe it's abandoned and it's no longer in use anymore but I'm going to go in a bit further and have a look and see what the story is so we have a an avenue kind of into the direction of the old church you can see it from the road as I said um, there's kind of like a house next door or a garage there so it is kind of forgotten and locked up and looks like nobody really comes around here so I'll talk to you when I get in a bit further and we'll see what's in here right so this is the entrance to the old church in the graveyard here and uh, I just seen a sign out there and it actually said Clonard so it's Clonard church and graveyard we can see some of the graves and just as you enter the old graveyard we have this um, route iron burial area here and you can see where a key used to open that at one time and it's covered in briars and stuff overgrown so it does look abandoned to me whether there's new burials or whatever going on here I don't know but we can see a couple of headstones in around there so we'll go a bit further in and see now it is beautiful looking that's the church Clonard lot of overgrowth in the area so there we have the abandoned church and it looks like Church of Ireland to me um, another big railing area over there very overgrown so what I'm going to do is try and get around and read read some headstones and see um, I see a headstone over there 1960 someone was buried but we look at this church first look at that all the windows are boarded up as you can see and there's a couple of old headstones just here so I'll try and get in and read this so this one says erected by George Copperweight or Copper Twait in memory of his beloved wife Anne who died the 24th of October 1884 age 73 is on that one so that's the 1800s and we just have another one there unfortunately has fallen over um, some really nice ones in there as well look at that designs on it this looks like at first when i saw this i thought it was an urn but i think it's actually for holding flowers it's just left there so the door is locked glass is broken on it there and just up the top it says ad 1808 and that so i'll go back over this direction where Sue is and see can I read some of these older ones the grass is extremely long here
Whoa, that's strange, isn't it? We have um, just a hole here that's filled with water. But it does look like it was something at one time or another. Was it a, a well or a font or something like that? Or you can see the green on it there at the top of the water. Um, the the trough. trough. So it's actually a trough. Is it hard to read that? It says cut from a block of limestone measuring da 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 da. This trough may have been used as the lava bow in the monastery. The water is believed to have cured, is it? Curative. Curative. Or warts. Oh, so this is what it is. Um, just that sign that's there and we cleaned it there to read it so this is a trough um, that held, holds water and has cures for warts I don't have warts but so there must have been an old monastery on the grounds here then at one, before there's a monastic site across the road yeah so maybe it was part of it so that's where we get the monastic site and the connection there to that trough um, I'm just going to brave going in here and I hopefully I won't fall into a, a hole or anything. Um, nice big headstone here. This is the burial place of the Reverend Thomas Sutton, vicar of the United Parishes of Clonard, who died the 8th of April 1818. So I will get back to the, where I came in and see some of those headstones but I just want to explore this area first because this is intriguing here it's overgrown and stuff see what's going on so there's the church windows boarded up headstones really covered over and um, another Celtic cross in amongst all that briars so nobody's looking after the place that's for sure um there's nobody looking after the place it is forgotten so we have an area just out here as well at the back of the church there's more graves here um and headstones there. One of them actually looks new. What is that? What? This is Whoa. strange. Look at this. Oh. That's a big what is that? tunnel or something, it looks like. That's going in over the church. Or, sorry, underneath the church. Um, I don't know if I'll get in there with those thorns. Look at the size of those thorns. There's a lot of water by the looks of it. Oh, we have to go in. Look at this, into the tunnel. Yeah. Are you crazy? No. There's a load of briars. I'm, I'm going to turn. Want... I'm going to turn it off and just see. Can I have a closer look, um, and try and get rid of some of this stuff in front of me? So it's actually a vault. Um, I just looked in there with the torch. Um, you can see the door with the old iron ring on it. You know the entrance to the vaults that we showed before. So that vault looks like it's going in. Um, into the church area there, in underneath the church. Um, what do you think? Should I go in there? And I'm just gonna show you what it's like. So it goes off in there, look. And it is flooded. But I'm gonna go down as far as I can. Um, there's the door of the vault I was talking about. I'm gonna go down as far as I can and have a look see what I can see I have Wellington's on so I'm gonna have a look off you go oh guys this is crazy <laughs> but I'm gonna try and get in here and have a better look go for it yikes guys Ooh, I made it in. There's the entrance to the vault. Look at that. The ring. 
I'm going to go down a bit further and uh, see. It actually doesn't go too far. Um, I don't see, I can see bits of bones there and it is flooded. So what you're looking at at the moment is water everywhere. There's beer cans over there in the corner. So whether somebody was coming down here before, um, the strange thing is just straight across there, there's another hole as well. Um, what that is, I don't know. There is a hole over there. So I don't know what's going on in here. Um, a wheel of an old car down here, look at that. Whoa, that is crazy. Wow, that hole goes off in there, look at that. There's beer cans in there and stuff. The hole goes all the way in there. Yikes. Um, bones, guys, look at that. There is bones there, remains. Oh no. That's terrible. Um, I have to get back out. Yeah, I'm just going to go back out this hole. Here he comes emerging. Whoa. Oh, guys, I got out of there. Um, I did work up the courage. I had to go in there to have a look because at first I wasn't sure. I was thinking, is it like an old boiler house underneath the church? But then when I saw the ring and the vault door, I thought to myself, this is open. Now, whether that was damaged by vandals, because there is beer cans down there and an old wheel of a car or something. But um, it is crazy. But to go down there, we can see the entrance there. But to go down there was um, very, very strange. I worked up the courage to get down in there and have a better look. So there is people in activity going on here, but in the wrong way, I suppose. Um, young lads. Coming in. There you can't even get into. There's a headstone just over at the wall there as well. Completely overgrown. Another one just here. So I'm going to go back around this way. Um, just look at that overgrowth. Oh God, it's like going through. It's like going through a jungle here. It's so bad. Ah, Lord, excuse me if I'm breathing heavy, but that's the other side of the church. There's another little window there in the roof area. Um, we have the back door of the church just there. I presume it's locked. I'm just going to check to see is it locked. It is locked. So, um, I'm going to go around, see what else I can find. All headstones and stuff. Um, very overgrown. Very, very bad. Completely forgotten. Look at that for overgrowth. Just crazy. So I can't go that way. I'm going to go the other way and see. Wow, we have the old, um, the old church here as well, part of it. That was the old uh, side part of it here has fallen down. Look at that. Now this is probably the original um, the original boiler house underneath you can see just here look at that the steps going down in there so that would have been the old uh, boiler room there 
for the heat in the church. More graves there. We can see the wrought iron on them. There's one here. I'm going to try and read. There's a lot of thorns. Erected by Thomas Corcoran. County Kildare. In memory of his mother Annie. Who departed this life. The 24th of August. Um, we just see a date there. 17... 80 look at that and his children who died young so I'm going to make my way back out the way I started um, hopefully I'll try and get back out there what a very interesting place this old abandoned graveyard and church and that vault guys that vault just going inside there it was creepy but um you know curiosity got the better of me there and i had to have a look i suppose when it's opened you know and it's abandoned like that you would be curious to go in and just look so i'm trying to be respectful um and highlighting the problem as we saw in there the rubbish and the the old tire of a car so it is very disrespectful that whoever has done that it's terrible throwing rubbish into it on wheels of cars and stuff into that vault so rest in peace to everybody that's buried there and hopefully they might be able to cover that hole over and fix the problem so I'm going to go back out um, the old graveyard there is a couple more here I haven't read I'm still still recovering after that that guy is that um, getting into that vault that wasn't easy was not easy so I'd love to know what that railing is just over there we did look at that um, trough there and mentioned about water that, that's in it that cures warts so that was interesting and I'm sure that old railing there is a headstone the other side of it but to get in around these areas is is difficult to try and read we have a chest tomb over here as well and a couple of more graves look at these two and Sue found some golf balls so I don't know there's a, there is a house in the distance but it's too far away so I'm not sure what's going on there it probably is children coming in here, you know, messing around and stuff, using it as a kind of a hangout. Um, it happens. But look at these. Chest tombs. Beautiful designs on those. There's two, three here altogether. Whether I'm going to get to read it or not, I don't know. Beneath this stone lay the body of Richard Allen Esquire and he died in 1811 aged 78, 73 years old so Richard Allen Esquire um, I don't know what that is on top of birds poop, birds poop is it? on top of the grave um, look at this there's the tops of the tree chest tombs now this is the the route iron railing that I was looking at earlier and it's just impossible to get in there and it looks like there's a headstone there there's actually something over here as well yeah I'll go over and have a look in the other area 
So what I'm doing is just trying to read whatever I can really. None of them are readable, but the lichen. There's lichen, there's thorns and bush everywhere. Um, very hard to read. Then we have this one just here, look at that. Now that does look like to be something from an old monastery or monastic looking, doesn't it? We can see there's no inscription yeah. on it or anything. Very strange place. Um, mysterious place, you know. Especially that vault going under the church and stuff and the other hole, the other side of it. Or was that hole made by vandals who got in there? Or are they trying to dig in further to see what was behind that? Or, you know, hard to know. Old. Look at this grave. William Cook Lancaster, medical doctor, who died in 1946. And we have this tree branch here just falling on top. Um, so I tried to get in there to the back of that headstone. Yeah. But it's too dark for me to see. But I, I'm thinking it is a vault. Is it? I think so. Let's go in and have a look. Um, try and get in a bit closer. And have a look. I'm getting caught up here, lads, and oh, thorns and everything. Don't know. See the wall. I got in a little. The route iron railing, just to the right of the route iron railing. So right, guys. So I did have a look as close as I could in there. All I can see is route iron, but there is um, an entrance way. So you have your railings either side. It is an entrance way into it, so I think it is a vault that's in there. But look how high the overgrowth is. You would just never get in there to see. Um, but what an interesting old graveyard. Abandoned church and graveyard with the mysterious vault that we went inside to have a look as well. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Head back on the road. We have other places to do today as well. Um, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Um, comment below the video as well. Let me know what you thought. Um, it's fascinating to see these forgotten places. So until the next time, see you on the next adventure.